In this video, I'm going to show you a kind of a fun little way that you can kind of manipulate the meta defense that most people are utilizing uh, in Madden 22, how you can really mess with the double Mabel concept that a lot of people are running in this game, and uh, kind of show you a little cool way, I think, to manipulate them out of trips tight end. Now, if you are new to my YouTube channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and the reason I encourage people to subscribe is because it just allows you to stay up to date with all of the latest tips and tricks that I release here on the YouTube channel. Now the other thing that I wanted to let you know really quickly is we're going to be talking today about the trips tight end offense. Probably one of my more preferred ways to play offense in Madden 22. And if you want to learn the entire offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership in the description below. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to not only my trips tight end ebook, but all 13 of my offensive and defensive ebooks that I have released over the course of the Madden 22 season. So far, you'll get access to all of them as soon as you sign up. Now, a lot of people like to play this uh, this Mabel defense, right? And most people are going to make their flats the deeper zone. The flats are going to be dropped at 20 to 25 to 30 yards so that they can better defend post routes and crossing routes and um, corner routes and stuff like that, right? They're also oftentimes going to drop these curl flats to 5 or 10 yards, depending on the situation. But typically, the curl flat zone is the underneath zone of this defense. And uh, so what I want to do right now is show you how you can use any any real play with the wheel, but it is best, in my opinion, to do this out of trips tight end because of the play PA shot wheel. Uh, and I'm going to show you a cool little setup that you can use. It's great for the blitz also if they're running cover two style blitzes, but it's really good for this type of situation. So uh, the play is PA shot wheel out of trips tight end. That's what we're going to show you today. We've got a ton more plays in the ebook, so I would really encourage you to check that out. But basically what we're going to do, ideally you would have your your um, your trips to the field on this one. So you'd want to be to the wide side of the field. It you can work it, it works on both sides, but it does work a little bit better if your trip set is to the field. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to audible now down into the Mike Blitz 3 and kind of set up a general coverage that you're going to see. This is basically the general way people are going to play. You're going to see here I've got an underneath zone. I've got a, I've got that flat that's going to go 30 yards, stop any corner routes. And then I've got a curl flat that is going to defend the underneath routes. I've got a yellow zone, and I've got a spy for my user. And then on the back side, we have the, basically the same element, right? Now, the only adjustment we're going to make on this play, you can streak the tight end if you want to kind of work this crosser as well. Uh, but the, the one adjustment that I personally prefer to make is just zig the uh, outside receiver. That's it. That's all I do. I just zig him. And what you're going to find out of this play is a really, really glitchy thing that you're going to see. You see, see what just happened right there? The curl flat defender basically disappears. Okay? And I'll show you in replay what this actually really means practically for the offense. So what happens is because he's in a curl flat, a curl flat zone has a matching uh, principle that is designed for wheel routes. So if you're just in a general cover three, those purple zones are supposed to match wheel routes. And they carry this over into zone drops as well. So what you're going to see here is this wheel is going, you see, going to wait on it right here. But then watch, he just bails. He's just, he's running to the wheel. Obviously he can't guard the wheel, but he is running to him. And then as you see here, it leaves a huge opening. And what's really cool about the zig route is it stops just like a flat route does and as you can see perfect i mean just sits there and then i can run for you know 10 15 yards now i can show you how this works um, again and i'm going to show you this time how it works to the short side of the field so we're going to set up the same basic coverage as you can see and then we're going to zig uh evans whoops and like i said if you want to streak the tight end you can because then, like, let's say their user goes over there. Now you have something they have to use her in the middle of the field, which almost, if they ever see a crosser, they typically use her that in the middle of the field. Here you'll see uh, to the short side, that's why I'm saying to the wide side, for the for whatever reason, that short side doesn't work as well. But I will tell you something that's interesting. So if I set up that same coverage, like I said, to the wide side, it works a lot better. But if I set up that same coverage, I want to show you something about this, this curl flat. 
So we run it. What you'll see is this curl flat defender will suck in, and I can still throw this and get about, you know, 11 yards. And I'll show you the the um, the animation that you're gonna get. So what you'll see here, and it's pre it's because of this crosser. Okay. So what you'll see here is this crosser will pull this zone in right there. See that? Now I have two options here. I could throw this wheel. I could throw that right there. And I could probably, like I said, still get several yards. Or I could take my safe throw, get it out here. And now I have a lead blocker in front of me. Threw it a little late. But I, I got a lead blocker in front of me and I can run upfield. Okay. So it's kind of just a simple little makeshift screen, if you will, um, that's really, really good uh, if, they're if they're running some Mabel coverage. Now, let's say, for example, that they're running cover two on you. So a cover two coverage so that they might, you know, maybe they want an additional um, underneath defender, if you will, you know, it, it, sometimes they run cover two, right? What you're going to get out of this is if they run cover two, what you should get here, especially if you streak your tight end, obviously you're going to have your curl route, but this wheel on the left side oftentimes can get over just like that. Didn't quite get where I wanted it to, but can oftentimes get over the cover two, especially if you're on the other hash mark. Um, so anyways, that's, that's basically the idea. So again, if I were to flip, if I were to flip this, right. And if I really wanted to run this concept, that's what I would recommend doing. Just flip this to the field every single time. So your trips are always to the wide side of the field. If you're running this concept to me, it works more consistently, but what you see, I put the zig out there. I've got the wheel. And now as a read, I'm wheeling, I can read my wheel quick. Nope. But then watch, watch late in the play. He runs up and now this guy just sits here. And you can get, typically you can get about 15 to 20 yards um, just with this one concept alone. And I really do think that this is one of the better concepts for Mabel coverages because so many people, whenever they run a Mabel coverage, they're almost always going to, uh, that, purp that purple zone is going to almost always be the underneath uh, defender in the Mabel coverage. And it's what makes this so effective. So, anyways, guys, that's basically the 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 or the the stuff I wanted to talk about in this video uh, for this uh, offense. Like I said, just put the zig out there. If you want to work that tight inside, just put him on a vertical. You can always still work your crosser. But then the cool part is, like, let's say you get a cover two, you can kind of fit that into that window most of the time and it's very effective so if you want to learn more about trips tight end i would really encourage you to check out my trips tight end ebook you can find all of my ebooks in the patreon membership and remember the patreon membership is just 10 bucks a month for just ten dollars you get everything uh in that membership so thanks for watching if you're still watching you want to check out that patreon head on down to the description below and click that link that i put down there for you